But if it's 3.30 right now and then... But okay, 3.30. So that means she's only had around 650 maybe calories for the whole day. What? So. Here we go with the measuring. Hello, ED. Oh, I just... Guess what that's bringing us to? Under 1,500 calories for the day, like a four-year-old should be eating. Just like Plantiful Kiki, just like High Cub Hannah. Hey, Frugivore! Welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So I'm a little bit croaky because I just woke up as very early, but bear with me. We are going to check out Healthy Emmy today because she's highly requested. And I don't know a lot about Healthy Emmy, but we have had an interaction on Instagram, which I will speak about in a moment. But um, Healthy Emmy, apparently, I, this is what I've gathered from the small amount of you know research that I have done on her and that I've heard from you is that she is promoting a starch solution style diet and I think it's called Slim on Starch and um, she is a nutritionist and that doesn't mean a lot. That doesn't mean a lot these days because we know that the industry funded education is just turning out, churning out um, nutritionists and dietitians like Abby Sharp. But thankfully, thankfully Healthy Emmy is recommending plants and no animal bits and pizzas pieces which is fantastic so today we are going to check out her video we're going to review her video what i eat in a day on the starch solution because there are there is a lot of you who are concerned she's not recommending enough kind of along the same vein as high cub hannah and plantiful kiki you know recommending starch but not enough and not enough fruit really not enough fruit so we'll check out whether that's true or not i've never actually watched a what i eat in a day video from healthy emmy but on instagram just quickly we did have an interaction where one of you sent me a post where she was under eating recommending under eating you know, some misinformation and i put a comment on that this is like maybe a couple of years ago uh, yeah february 2020 and i left a comment on that and she actually wrote to me personally and said um she used to follow me by the way but no longer, probably because I called her out. Uh, hey girl, I just saw your comment on my post. I'm on your team. I think there was some confusion. I've been high carb vegan for over five years. My video about sugar dispels myth that sugar makes us fat. And um, yeah, we just had another conversation. I saw that dietitian made a video on you. She said, hey, my favorite gal. And um, she put a screenshot of you in there. We had a bit of a conversation. And then it kind of just went here. I was replying to one of her stories. I said, this is incorrect and encouraging calorie restriction. I thought you watched my videos and understood this. Calorie restriction does not work for long-term weight loss. And then, and then another story. And then you contradict yourself by saying, don't worry about calories. And I said, please read my books and watch my Stephanie Buttermore videos. But anyway, we had a bit of an interaction and she unfollowed me. But here we are. Here we are on, on um, YouTube and we're going to check out what she recommends. And hopefully it's enough calories, but I think it probably is not going to be. All right, if you want to see more of these videos, please vote on them and leave a comment down below what you think. I would love to hear. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hello and welcome. Woo! Hello. Hello, Healthy Emmy. We're just going to turn off that intro. That was quite loud. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to lose weight on a plant-based diet. And Okay, so it's about weight loss. Her, her program is very weight loss focused. I don't think there's any focus on animals or being veganism or anything like that. This is purely about losing weight. All right, so important to remember that. Hang on, let's go to the meal one here. So I'm starting out with some fresh broccoli oh. and I am also taking some broccoli for breakfast. Ah, no, thank you. <laughs> no red bell peppers that I've sliced up. Very portioned. See this very portion controlled. And, you know, same with high cup Hannah and plantiful Kiki, very portioned. And, you know, this micromanaging portions, it's still part of the mainstream ED behavior. Yes, it is. And you don't need to do that when you're eating plants. But anyway, we will get on to it. Okay. One of my most used items in this kitchen, and I will link it in the down bar. I got it on, so you can just go into the description bar and get the exact one that I use. That, oh, she should be saying she has an affiliate link because you go to her description, it says Amazon, it's an affiliate link. So she... Every time you purchase it, she gets a kickback, which is fine, but you should actually tell the audience. 
and I'm breaking up the broccoli into even sized pieces so that it cooks evenly and putting that in as well as putting the bell peppers in here. Okay, so that was about like two cups of broccoli, I'd say. I put water in the bottom and then I pop it into the microwave for about six minutes. The microwave, I don't know, for breakfast? I don't know, this is, this seems like, this is not many calories at all. You know, like broccoli, that's why a lot of these individuals, a lot of these women with these starchy programs are recommending a lot of broccoli because it's so low in calories and it has a lot of volume, a lot of fiber. So two cups is about like 60 calories, I think, and half a bell pepper or quarter or probably half or something, probably about 20 or 30 calories, not much. Where's the where is the fruit? <laughs> That's what I'm, I mean, bell pepper is a fruit, but you know what I'm saying? Sweet fruit, juicy, not vegetable type. Just got these from the grocery store and you just want to check the ingredients. Okay, some very, very bunker corn wraps, tortillas, I'd say. And make sure that they haven't added anything besides corn, water, lime, salt. There shouldn't be any oil added or any. Oh, this is just like gross for breakfast. Oh, I'm so happy that she's saying, you know, no, nothing added. I think that's fantastic. But this is far away from being a whole food right here. This is, yeah, very processed. And I would have it, if I was going to have it at the end of the day, not at the start. You don't want to like put this very processed, very bunker, very dry how old is the corn kind of wrap thing into the body first thing. It's And it's like... Ah, where's the sweetness? The animal products like lard. So hang on, there's about five of them. They're probably like 50 calories each or something. Hang on. Now I'm taking this. Oh, she said no lard and no animal bits and pieces, which is great. And okay. Pico de gallo. Pico I just gallo. got this from the grocery store. Pico de gallo. Mm, so that's not, that's not much calories again. No. See how she's portioning that? That looks like she's she's doing a tablespoon, kind of like a heap tablespoon. And she's having like three of them. Oh, yep, three of them. Okay. And then I have this little mini cup of what? guacamole and hi. Huh? A cup of guacamole. They're so tiny. Is this like a single serve? love these things because if you buy an entire tub of guacamole it goes brown so quickly but the that is so tiny though emmy <laughs> this is so wasteful this single serve this is avocado <laughs> like get an actual avocado cut a section off it squeeze some lime or lemon on the rest of it and it's going to preserve it put it in the fridge and you can have it like sometimes for a couple of days but ah these little guys stay fresh and you can freeze them as well. So such a hack. Okay, so that's definitely like a calorie portioned amount of um, avocado there. So, hmm. Yeah, it's very wasteful. Don't do that. Have the fresh whole avocado. Yeah. Well, honestly, that there, there is not enough fructose going on here. This is... For me, this is very, very bland, very low on taste because it's very low on fructose and calories. I would say about, again, under 500, like similar to what Plantiful Kiki and High Cap Hannah are recommending. You know, like it's essential to have fructose. You know, it's, it's essential for human health and it stops human frugivores binging. And I did notice on her Instagram, if I can maybe show that in her story, you can see that she, even her story from today, she was um, eating, I don't know, oh no, hang on, where did it go? Oh, I think it disappeared, but she had some like chocolate bars or something that she was eating. And I'm like, yeah, like, well, if you under eat, this is how it's going to go. The brain is going to send you, the brain is going to send you to um, sugar, to the sweet stuff. And fructose is double as sweet as glucose. And it's just designed to, you know, push us towards eating fruit because it's so amazing and satisfying. And I do not recommend having this for breakfast, okay? It's, it's not going to keep you happy and away from the sugar. People end up going to the refined sugar instead of fruit. Have a smoothie. 
So I took this footage yesterday and I've been the same weight over 11 years, not calorie restricting, never calorie restricting, eating all I care for, never portioning anything. And um, it's so liberating. Okay, I'm 42 in September and I've never been this like fit and in shape. Honestly, when I was 25, I was out of shape and I was portion controlling all the time, right? I was dieting. This dieting does not work. You know, you need to be satisfied on the program that you are on in order to stay on it long enough to get the results you desire and actually treat it like a lifestyle so you can do it for the rest of your life rather than jump from diet to diet to diet, which is really mentally exhausting, mentally and physically exhausting and bad for your metabolism. So definitely check out the Raw to 4 lifestyle or fruit-based lifestyle in general, the frugivore diet. My books are available down below. You can get a good discount if you get all three of them, or you can go to Amazon and get the physical books, but I recommend the eBooks, which you can download straight away. The link is in the description below. Stop portion controlling, stop starving yourself and start eating abundantly and feeling amazing and looking your best. Now listen, I know what you're thinking. Emmy, are you eating vegetables in the morning? I, I definitely am thinking that and I would not recommend it. I'll hear my clients say, I can't eat veggies at breakfast. How did you have broccoli as the first thing that you had? I can't have- Yeah, that, that's the thing. But that's a natural, that's a natural like reaction from people because we want sweet after our fast all night. We want sweet, we need it. We are frugivores, we're human frugivores. We're not starchivores. It's ridiculous to even try to contemplate us being like a herbivore. Ridiculous have veggies in the morning I can't let's challenge this language a little bit you can't have veggies in the morning is that true is that is that factual is that you can't or that you're choosing not to okay <laughs> it's just an instinctive feeling within people that's why a lot of people go for sweet stuff look we're not here to talk about veggies in the morning it's just like Sure, you can push yourself to have veggies in the morning, but we don't really, really want it for a reason. That's why our clients are like, oh, I don't really want to have it. Because we are, after the sweet stuff, we are frugivores. Get to the food again, hang on. Okay. So that meal, I would say, is, yeah, under 500 calories, dry, bland, um, uninspiring for me really is one of my staple meals that I could eat every single day and I, I pretty much eat sweet potatoes every single day so let me just show you what it is and then nothing wrong with sweet potatoes okay I think that's great uh, for lunch not not ideal and she hasn't had any any real fruit by this point only half a bell pepper we'll talk Today I decided to have the Hannah yams. These are also called Jersey Whites, a white sweet potato. They're all pretty much the same thing. There might be some nuances. Okay, how big are they? Let me have a look here. The same thing, there might be some new. I saw the size of it, okay. Nuances. Okay, I would, I would call them three small. Three small sweet potatoes. To them, but they're pretty much the same thing. So I have three of these little guys. They fit in the palm of my hand, which is my my favorite size sweet potato. I just she probably that's part of her portioning. It fits in the palm of her hand. Then she knows how many calories are in it. So the fact that they fit in her palm makes them yeah very small and maybe only a hundred calories for three possibly 110 calories for three. And I think that's part of her portioning is to get them to fit in her the palm of her hand. It would make sense. Just love the way it cooks. Paired it with lettuce. This is romaine lettuce, which I almost always have in the fridge. Yeah, they are very small to fit on that little plate. You can see the size of her hand. And don't get me wrong, the sweet potatoes are freaking amazing. <laughs> They're awesome. I do recommend you eat them. You know, if you're going to eat cooked, then sweet potato, not a problem. It's great. I wouldn't recommend for lunch. I recommend fruit, just so you get enough fruit in. But um, this is like, hopefully she's having more than this. It seems very dry to just... Is that it? Yeah, I mean, they look good. It's um, baked in the oven, or of course, it's going to be great. And lettuce. So... 
I mean, this is something that I would have recommended at dinner time for raw till four that I've had myself. I usually would have had like a homemade sweet chili sauce or something with it or a homemade tomato sauce. Uh, but yeah, you can eat like this for dinner, but this is only like, I mean, gosh, there must be maximum 200 calories, I would say. Here. But hopefully there's a lot more, but we're getting to the end of the video. At this point, I think she's only had about 600 calories. And then we're gonna go for sushi tonight. All right, so it is now around, can you see it's around 3.30ish. My significant other is gonna be coming over. Well, it's almost 3.30 because I have a call at 3.30, so I know it's not 3.30. I'm gonna eat a bowl of oatmeal right now because this sushi place, I love them, I love them, I love them. Why am I still wearing my glasses? I love them, but they, you know, they take their sweet time, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. But if it's 3.30 right now, and then by- Okay, 3.30. So that means she's only had around 650 maybe calories for the whole day. What? This is drastic under eating. By the time the sushi gets on the table, you know, that's just too many hours away. So I'm going to have something right now. I'm going to have a little bowl of oatmeal. If I don't eat now, I'm going to get to sushi and I'm going to eat the entire restaurant. So I'm going to eat my oatmeal now. Now, it's just crazy that she's only eating this little amount and it's like four o'clock. I just wanted a little something just to tide me over. So. Here we go with the measuring. Hello, ED. Oh, I just had a third of a cup of oats, which is a very- Can you imagine, can you imagine animals like <laughs> measuring out their food in nature? You know, like primates like us going to like a mango tree and having like half a mango. Oh, I can only have half. I can only keep within my calorie deficit for this day or the or cows having like oh I can only eat like this corner of the paddock today I can't eat any more or I might get fat you know even though it's your natural food it's just ridiculous very small amount but I just need a little something before we're going to sushi later third of a cup of oats a very small amount so about what 100 calories I just need a little something before we're going to sushi later of course you need, need a little something because you've only been eating a little something all day they take their sweet time which is totally fine but I didn't want to be super super hungry so I had a third cup of oats and then I have this I made this seed mix and it's a combination of flax seeds chia seeds hemp seeds some ground up pumpkin seeds and cinnamon okay, a little amount there Maybe and 50 I put that calories. on top. Is that it? Well, just with water? Holy shit, this is like a very bland diet. This is like, I would call it a, a low taste diet for sure. Very, very low in fructo fructose. And right, just calories so in general. That it? Is oh, that it? I've changed for sushi. Okay, so she's got... Wow, it's dinner and she's only had basically 750 calories. Look, I know why Plentiful Kiki, Hike Up Hannah and Healthy Emmy recommend low calories on their plan because they rely on their programs giving weight loss quickly. And this is why I was given so much crap, you know, when I released Raw to Four and when I've been recommending uh, unlimited, eating unlimited uh, calories because even though I know it works temporarily, you know, to recommend under eating, to restrict your calories, I'm not going to sell out for you like that. You know, I'm not going to tell you to under eat to lose weight quickly. I'm not going to put you through that torture anymore that the mainstream has already been putting you through, you know, that diet industry. It's just ED diet mentality. So, you know, when, when females in particular gain weight initially on raw till four, not all of them, but some, then I become the devil. You know, I become like a terrible person, even though I'm the one actually trying to help you have this calorie freedom and eat all you care for. So it's just, it's really disappointing. And, you know, because I know it is crucial, sat you being satisfied on the program is crucial to you staying on long-term and achieving those long-term re long results. Into So just be aware of what they are doing for that. Pants and a denim jacket because they're always the rush pants and a denim jacket because oh, the audio. they're always the restaurants always freezing they call it like win always freezing i wonder whether that's to do with her 
lack of eating. I would put it down to that, and we just have to do this again. Hello and went, welcome. Audio went weird. Would be interesting if that was to do with her lack of eating and her feeling cold, because that's definitely a side effect. Pants and a denim jacket, because- well, Some places can be cold, of course, but you know what I'm saying. They're always, the restaurants are always freezing. They call- Well, I'd be freezing if I was eating like a toddler as well. If I was eating like a four-year-old, I would be freezing as a adult female. For okay. sushi in the back right there, you see I got some cucumber rolls. On the left, you'll see I got an avocado roll. And then down in the bottom right, I got- Okay, so she portioned all this out. And um, it's hard for me to say exactly how much this is, but it seems she's been saving up her calories so she could go for it with the sushi and still be within her calorie limit a veggie roll which was a combination of asparagus but you can see there's heaps of vegetable matter there and not a lot of rice rice is where the actual calories are going to come into it and she may have even even requested a lot of vegetable matter to keep her calories lower this lettuce and some avocado we love to get sushi and then oh, let me have a look at this let me have a look at this a little bit more okay so she's got their little ones over here and this one's a fatter one, but it's full of vegetable matter. Remember that this one has something a little bit more dense in it, maybe like something a little fried, but she's not showing that. I don't think so calories. I would say it could be around 600. Okay. It could be around 600. Guess what that's bringing us to under 1500 calories for the day. Like a four year old should be eating just like plentiful Kiki, just like high carb Hannah. You can see this, this volume scam, it's a volume scam that is just another form of under eating. It's very, very deceptive. And I'm very disappointed that Emmy and that these other women are recommending this deprivation to females who have come from the diet culture and they want to just heal, you know, and be healthy and eat abundantly. And that's what you can do on Raw Till 4 and on the Frugivore diet. No more calorie counting. The only reason you calorie count or like look at portions is to get enough, <laughs> not to restrict. Remember that to get enough. So you stay on the program and you reprogram that obsession with portion control because we've come from that. So we need to reprogram that. I got some cucumber rolls on the left. You'll see I got an avocado roll and then down in the bottom right, I got a veggie. Yeah, 600 is being generous, seriously. Roll, which was a combination of asparagus, lettuce, and some avocado. Okay, so that th this is about it. There's no more really to the video. So Emmy, 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 what I can see happening here is definitely you are recommending calorie restriction. Recommending calorie restriction and it's just not going to, it's just not going to end well. Okay. It's yes, it may, uh, some of your clients may get results quicker, but long-term they are going to gain it back. There's going to be rebound, even though it's plants. And you know, I recommend plants, you know, her program is essentially, um, you know, reasonable because it is plants. It doesn't contain animal bits and pieces, but so little calories. And so little volume. One rule of thumb when it comes to volume too is if you're not having two bowel movements in a day, you're not having enough volume. And that's what you get with fruit, okay? Fruit is queen when it comes to volume and it comes to gut health and amazing bowel movements. And the fructose, your brain requires, your body requires fructose so much so that it will actually create it will create fructose out of glucose. And remember, glucose, fructose is double the sweetness of glucose. And it's for a reason, because we're meant to be attracted to eating fruit. Having like this dry, bland microwave breakfast is just, well, it is not recommended. I, I do not recommend this at all. Um, at least, these women need to be getting at least over 2000 calories. So they, they're in this deficit way too, way too much, a deficit of, you know, 600 calories or something a day, you know, and that's why they end up binging out. That's why they end up binging out 
and um, you'll see it every time. And this encourages people to go back to eating animal bits and pieces, this restriction. This is what's causing it because people don't feel satisfied, right? So anyway, I don't recommend this. I, I think we should do some more on Healthy Emmy because she is a, a popular request from you and I think there's more to look at and um, she should stop recommending the amount that a child should eat to adult females. It's unacceptable, it's irresponsible, and it's still just mainstream, promoting mainstream ED. All right, please don't forget to go fruit yourself and I'll see you soon.